So Ryan, as a follow-up question, we, you talked about hiring and retaining top talent. And we know here in BC that uh, company culture is very important. I've been here to Clio three times and I can feel the culture here is like very welcoming, very open and very open concept. And uh, I read that you are involved in each hire. Mm -hmm. Why? My first question. And what questions do you ask each employee that you are hiring? Yeah, um, so I, I think the, the reason that we've stayed close to the hiring process is, is you know, kind of twofold. One, I think, um, you know, it's, it's important for every person who's coming into the organization to have their best opportunity to understand, you know, what motivates Clio. And, and I think that, um, you know, talking to one of the founders is, is kind of an important uh, perspective that we can offer and and um, you know we, we fundamentally believe that you know insofar as we're interviewing people they're also interviewing us and I think that yeah, we, you know, we, both, we, yeah, we both need to agree that there's a fit um, and, and so like I like to avail myself to that conversation to make sure that uh, I'm able to speak to people's questions and and either and give them some sense of certainty about whether this is the kind of place where they can be successful um, the other the other piece is that you know I, I think that um, you know, a part of a building and sustaining a great culture means that you you need to bring people who um, are are like-minded together, and and that doesn't mean building a monoculture, but it does mean um, bring people together who like fundamentally look at the world the same way and value the same things. Um, and so, you know, when we're when we're screening people, um, you know, I think it's it's reasonable for any organization to have. You know, certain sets of or groups of people who, who are going to be a good fit, uh, who resonate with the values, who uh, are inspired by the mission, and there's going to be people who just just don't, and, um, and and that's part of you know the the filter that um, you know myself and and Jack are kind of uniquely able to apply, um, and you know, generally speaking, I mean, you know, thankfully we've got a, a very thorough recruiting process, and by the time you know most people arrive uh, in front of me or in front of Jack. Um, you know, we're, we're reasonably convinced that they're going to be a good fit, but, but every so often, you know, we, we run against somebody and, and uh, um, you know, it, we, we maybe kind of like question the, the process or, or question whether the individual is going to be a fit. And it's really just intended to be, um, you know, a healthy check and balance to make sure that the, the system is, um, is, is bringing people forward and, and um, you know, putting them or considering them for to join the company um, who are who are going to be fit and have a real opportunity for for success and I think that's only fair to the individuals as well as to the yeah. business and you talked about culture fit I just want to go more deep, deep depth in depth about that so mm -hmm. what does literally cultural fit mean is does it mean that the person applying has same values of the company or are are the companies open to add values that people are bringing in because everyone has different individuals we cannot have copy paste or mini me's in the same environment we want diversity we want people yeah. to have different opinions express themselves but what does culturally fit really mean because i want to give job seekers opportunity to hear from a ceo what does that really mean because sometimes they get a generic email saying that we like you but we are going to someone else or culture you're not fit and then i feel that culturally fit when people hear they feel that something is wrong with me what what's wrong like, what does yeah that and mean? you know i i think it, it is a bit of a nebulous concept and um you know i i would i would discourage anybody from uh from thinking that you know um feeling like they're not a culture fit means that there's there's something wrong with them i think that it's it's you know it's a it's a perfectly fair thing to say that you know you might not be a perfect fit for you know all kinds of organizations um and that that's not a, a fault on the individual it's it's just that the organization is um it, you know is inclined a particular way that maybe isn't aligned um and you know so i, I think that you know when it when it comes to you know, like I said earlier, like we're we're not trying to build a, a monoculture, and yeah. and you know diversity and inclusion is is a huge part of uh, you know our value system here at Clio, and so you know we're always looking for people who you know change the dynamic and you know raise the bar yeah. um, and, and potentially add something new or interesting to the kind of cultural and and um, the the mosaic that we've got going yeah. on here at Clio, but I, I think there's some fun fundamentals that we um, that we need to preserve and, and you know like we we spent a lot of time kind of codifying our, our values mm -hmm. as a company um, you know putting customers first um, you know really wanting to be part of a strong team um, you know 
living with humility and, and you know always wanting to be developing and learning, uh, caring about you know health and wellness and having a good time. Um, you know, th those are some of the things that are, I think are like non-negotiables yeah. for us and, and so you, know, you can value those things and come from a variety of different backgrounds. Um, and, and I also think that like not everybody is, is inspired by you know, the, the idea of working in the legal industry, yeah. right? And um, you know, some people, um, you know, they want to go work at Amazon because Amazon's you know, delivering goods to the world yeah. and, and they're doing it at a scale that you know, is just like, super interesting. And, and, and that's, that's a better fit for some people. Um, you know, we're here because we believe that there's an opportunity yeah. to transform the legal industry yeah. and to, um, you know, to offer a better way to access legal services. Yeah. And, and to you know impact access to justice um, and, and we want to know that people who sign on to be a part of Clio are inspired by that mission yeah. right and and so when we're talking about culture fit like those are some of the things that we're uh, we're, we're factoring into our decision it's, it's not necessarily that you're um, you know if somebody doesn't doesn't match our ideal yeah. um, that, that there's something fundamentally wrong with them yeah. it just means that there's maybe a mismatch in terms yeah. of like yeah. um, the things that we value yeah. Thank you, Ryan, for yeah. giving me those insights because I still feel that like it will be helpful for job seekers. And anyone looking for a job in technology or IT, please check Cleo's website, they're hiring. Uh, and if you have, if you have any questions, uh, please like and share, leave it on the comment section. I'm more than happy to answer it to them. And tune in tomorrow for another question with Ryan.